Hello, Terry here, and today we are going to play Serial Goes on a Wild, developed by Psychomedia, who also developed Hanging with Stike. You know, that game that I gonna put in the card above, with the wolf boy, you know? Either way, this game has been out for a while, but I haven't been able to check it yet because it's. There's a lot of games on my list currently. <laughs> so, yeah, enough talk, let's play the game, shall we? New game. I'm bored. This is an ominous way to open a visual novel. <laughs> no sound, no whatever, just pure darkness and a character. Bored, bored, bored. Uh huh. Isn't there anything to do? Perhaps. What are you looking at? Well, for now, I guess I'll go on a walk. Where should I go? Library, garden, forest, dining hall, ocean? Oh, definitely ocean. I love the ocean. Kinda nice. Wait, how do I... Ah, oh, yeah. This is how you do it in Tirano Engine. I'm kinda not used to Tirano, by the way. I'm used to Renpi. It's kind of easy to use for me. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, I know it maybe seems incomplete, but you can see the direction where it's going. Excellent. Huh. As I thought, there there really is no feeling like cool air blowing off the sea. Really? I only came because I was bored and just wanted to walk around, but... But what? It's such a nice day, a shame I didn't bother to change into more fitting clothes. Indeed? Oh, someone's already here. Who is it? Ah. Let's see, dang, I really don't want to talk to that guy, maybe I can just... <laughs> Escape now. Nope, no chance. Atlas. Oh, hi, that's... That's a beautiful design. Hmm? You there, angel boy! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's this kind of character. Freak! Uh huh. Yes, how may I help? You arrive a good, at a good time. Good time? What do you mean? You see, I am a seashell hunting. Ah, you are a seashell hunting. I don't know what kind of gender is that, but I'm glad that you have found your purpose in life. Obviously, they are all great, but... Mm-hmm, but what? Here we go. <laughs> you look so dumb. It's a gift. Oh, it's a gift. For whom? Oh, unexpected. What do you expect? So I was hoping to know which one you think someone would be the most happy to receive. All right. Maybe I was too quick to judge. Lord Atlas has a bit of a reputation for stroking his own ego. A gift for himself, perhaps. <laughs> Let's see, I think the blue conch is impeccable, my lord. I see, I see. Alright. It is quite pretty, yes. Yeah, yeah. So? It is settled then, this will be my gift to Cassiopeia. Ah, I see, so it's not for you, I, I misjudge it too. Cassiopeia. Lady Cassiopeia, huh? I've seen him following her around a bit. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're a stalker. Now then, dear lad, tell me which god do you serve. I will alert them of your assistant to, cause, to my cause today and ensure that you are rewarded handsomely. Oh, my. Reward. Sure. Don't be shy now. That will be Lord Zeusus. Zeusus, sir. Uh huh. Uh, what's with silence? But the uh, music is kind of lagging. That's probably my machine. It's not really compatible with. Terrano engine, as I say. Sorry about that. 
Huh? That's so? Yeah. Yes, sir. What is it? What's with the silence? <laughs> now this is getting awkward. Oh. Well, Lord Jesus is a busy man, you know. That more than anyone, I'm sure. Uh-huh. So? Ah, he's backing out. <laughs> Running away? Not that I blame him, me lord can be very scary, and I heard in particular he really doesn't like Lord Atlas. <laughs> yep, then I have no other choice. Uh-huh, what will you do? I shall reward you for your valiant deeds myself. Oh, that is interesting. What is it then? It was just a freaking she-shell, man. <laughs> Mm hmm Yeah, it's just a freaking she show. As you can see, I'm a very generous lord. So... Oh, do you like milkshakes, that? Oh, sure. Come on, come on. Yeah, it is... It is just a she show, but you get a gift, so I don't see any problem with that. Milkshake sounds good. They are not bad. Indeed. Oh yes, and my name is Sariel, sir. Sariel? Sariel, indeed. Well, Sariel, you have proven yourself to be quite exceptional. It's just a she shell. <laughs> Bro, it was a freaking she shell. <laughs> As such, I offer you this milkshake. Where did you get that? Lord. Atlas clapped his hand together, a hollow sound emanating from them as they made contact. Oh, magic. I should have guessed that. After a moment passed, he brought them part an item in the place of where his hands were clasped together just moments before. Clearly, it was set up in the form of a milkshake, but... But what? Ta-da! What do you think? Uh, think what? Uh... Oh god, what is that? <laughs> With all due respect, sir, I don't think that even an angel could consume that. <laughs> but it looks... beautiful in a way? Yes? I really don't want to drink this. Uh-huh, why not? <laughs> it's weird, <laughs> that's fun. And second, it could potentially murder me. But I drink this all the time, they are so good. Are they? People have different tastes, sir. <laughs> Sariel have that customer service energy. <laughs> well, I suppose that's true. I mean, Sariel is an angel. Sariel works in the customer service stuff all the time then. So, yeah, kinda fitting. That's right, Lord Atlas is the god of the void, isn't he? <laughs> At least, that's what people say. Apparently, he's the only currently living god that Lord Jesus did not create. So you're probably gonna drink some void essence, I'm, I'm not recommending that at all. Maybe that's why he doesn't like him? It will be a char in, be in character for me, Lord. Uh-huh. I've also heard that everyone Lord Atlas has ever attempted to bless had died hor a horrible gruesome death <laughs> as the void consumed them from within. Even if it's just a milkshake, I am not drinking that. Mm, good reasoning, but we'll see. Well then, my boy. Uh huh. How about you and me go get a drink then? Oh, that sounds better. Sorry, what? <laughs> ah, Sariel expression is very nice. Atlas too, by the way. Atlas kinda reminds me of one of those cute animals. Just two gays having a drink, an odd swig of the liquor, you and me. Uh-huh. Just two guys swimming in a swimming pool, six feet apart, totally nothing wrong. Why? Because you help me, help me out. It's all on me, dear boy. No need to fret about a bill. It's just a freaking she shell. 
<laughs> it's 2 p.m. and he's serious about this. I'm starting to think he just doesn't have anyone to hang out with besides that woman he's always shadowing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, poor Atlas. Well, sir, if you insist, how could I turn down such a lucrative offer? Alright. Yes! Indeed. Let us be off. And there they go. <laughs> and so Atlas drags Serial to the best bar he could afford. Look at Atlas. <laughs> Despite it being so early in the day, Atlas proved himself to be quite the heavy drinker. While Serial took minor sips here and there on one of the weaker substance offered. Wait. Wait, Sage. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The god would begin to frequently make rude statements to the angel which Ariel had mixed feelings about. Rude statements. As Atlas continued to drink, however, he would begin praising Sariel, talking about him as if they were old friends. <laughs> he just doesn't have any friends, do you? <laughs> Sariel's previous feeling about him not having any friends becomes stronger and he began to take pity on the man. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Promising to hang out with him again later as they part ways that night. I mean, free ring, why not? Atlas and. Definitely, return to the title. Oh, that's. Ah, so I see. It's a five road story where you interact with each character. Interesting. Kinda like that. Alright, so after the forest, where should we go? I kinda want to go to the forest or the garden, but which one should I pick? Let's see, the forest then. Ah, nice, I like it. Ha. Ah. You know, I really think the forest on a warm, calm day just might be the, pla the best place to be. I can think of anything more relaxing than a nice breeze accompanied by the sound of nature. Accompanied, sorry. I think this was definitely the best choice. Oh, indeed it is. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, who is that? Wait, is somebody already here? Obviously, I mean, the world is full of people. Or creatures. Ruka! <laughs> who are you? Well, that makes sense. If anyone were to be here, it'd be Lord Ruka, of course. Who is that? He is the god of fauna, after all. Okay. Hmm. Oh, the eyes. I like it, the color of the eyes. It makes me reminded of... Yeah, fauna, somehow. A deer, you could say? I don't know. Very interesting. I've been noticed. <laughs> Time to get out of here, then. Well, well, well. If it isn't one of Lord Jesus' little angels. What brings you here, lad? Are you even allowed to stray this far from the castle? Aha, uh -huh. good day, Lord Ruka. I found some time, so I am on a small afternoon stroll. Just enjoying the nature. As for your other question, I am indeed permitted to leave, granted I have no further responsibilities for the day, and that I do not stray too far. Being one of Lord Jesus' angel is just as tough as I imagine it. Uh huh. Relax, boy. You don't, you needn't, sorry, I cannot read that, I'm not an English speaker. You need not, yeah, you need not be so formal. Is that so? Yeah. Yes. Then, what will you do, Sariel? Well, I do understand your reservations. For instance, that kid, Joel, who's Joel? Uh-huh. It feels like every time I see him, no matter where he is or what he's doing, he's always one step away from breaking down. This is an awkward talk, isn't it? It's interesting to watch, but it makes me feel bad for him. You guys have it rough, huh? <laughs> oh no, sorry, I feel so awkward. You see, this is why I don't trust any of you be. <laughs> Joel certainly does it. Does it have it rough? Yes. And you? I manage. <laughs> I'm freaking managing here. That's so? 
None of my an angels are as tense as you lot, or any of the other gets God's angels for that matter. You seem like you have a decent head on your shoulder, but I can tell just how tense you are. <laughs> Indeed. You have a good eye, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Stop that. Stop what? You're so formal even after I told you to stop. My apologies. Huh? Well, whatever. Okay then. Hey. Yes, sir? What do you think would happen if I try to bless you? No, don't don't do that. Excuse me. <laughs> That's a thing that gods do to the residents of surface worlds, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. I put just a teeny bit of my power in you. Everyone's bodies are different. It's really quite fun to watch the different reactions to a bit of my power entering them. Uh-huh. My power is a gentle one, so the death caused by it have been minimal. Yeah, but still. I just want to take a nice relaxing stroll here, pal. I, I, I don't want to die. I don't want to take any risk. If you were a human, I could probably guess what would happen to you, but an angel has never been blessed before. It is strictly forbidden. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's got to be a reason it's forbidden, right? I mean, you guys are, are already quite strong. Why wouldn't we want to make you a lot stronger? I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that question, sir. I know you don't. That's why I wanted to find out, idiot. No, don't, please. Help. Your bodies are about 90% divine energy. I am positive that adding more to the mix would make for an incredibly interesting result. Sorry, I'll invite you. I'm suggesting you to run. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah? I know you won't do it, B. <laughs> After all, if you did... Ha ha ha. Just a little joke. Ah, okay. See, I knew it. Okay. That face said it was more than just a joke, though. His angels undoubtedly have it rough, too. <laughs> oh, no. You were just so unresponsive and boring. I just wanted to see if I could get a rise out of you. Uh-huh. How dull. Besides, if I were to break one of Lord Jesus' things, the consequences will not be pretty. Alongside breaking one of the few laws we as God are meant to follow, yeesh. All this, all this hole in the bum care about themselves. Well, no matter, uh-huh. I have business to attend to anyway, so even if I wanted, I couldn't play with you, sorry. At last, we are alone. I wanted to come here to clear my mind first, but instead I've got something interesting to think about now. Okay. Thank you. Sure. The pleasure was all mine, sir. Ha. Huh. Well, I'm off. Sure. Enjoy the rest of your stroll, angel boy. And there Ruka goes. <laughs> God dang how unpleasant indeed it is. Ruka merely walked off leaving Sariel to feel quite myth about the interaction that had just taken place. <laughs> oh, poor Sariel. But he couldn't do anything about it. He never could. No angel ever could. They were at the mercy of their gods, and this interaction was the one of the many that solidified that truth. Maybe one day things would be better, but for now, this was his reality. Ruka and... Honestly, it was nice, too. It wasn't too bad, yeah, that's better. 
Could be worse, but yeah. Alright then, this time let's go to the garden, shall we? After that, I'm gonna go to the dining hall and then the library for the final. Well, this place always smells so nice. Ew, sorry, not, not well. How fortunate it is that some place like this exists within the castle grounds. Oh, someone's already here. <laughs> That's kinda guessable. Wait, that's... whom? Hey Joel, what's up? Ah, it's Joel, that's why you look so happy. I, mean, I thought we wouldn't meet Joel at all, but interesting. We'll see. <laughs> oh no, Joel. <laughs> if if Sariel looks that... Uh, that if Sariel looks always tense, Joel looks like... <laughs> oh no, poor, poor Joel. Whoa, relax buddy, it's just me. <laughs> you look like you have a knife behind your back every every second, Joel. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Hello, Sariel. Sorry, you just kinda... You sort of spooked me. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine, you. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry too. Are you out here watering the flowers again? Yeah. Oh, yes. Hey, hey, I actually planted some new ones here last week. Oh, that's nice. So I wanted to make sure they had enough to drink, you see. Ah, oh, I see. How nice. Hey, hey. So, you know. Uh-huh. Hum. I don't think you have ever told me why you like flowers so much. Yeah, why? I feel like if you're not working or in your room, you're always here. Hmm, does it need to have a reason, though? Promise you won't tell? Ah, okay, sure. I swear it. Ah, it's just... Just what? It's a little hard to put into words. Uh-huh. I suppose they just remind me of myself. Oh. What do you mean? It's just... They can control anything that happens to them. Oh. <laughs> what is it, Ariel? Whether they live or die is completely reliant on what goes around them. If I don't water them, they will dry up. In the wild, if it doesn't rain, there's nothing they can do. Uh-huh. Anyone can come around and just pluck them up, whether it be to whether it be for food or just to parade around. If someone is staring their petals or leaves off, they have no voice to scream with. Good freaking lord, dude. <laughs> but you know, they have something I don't. And what's that? Uh-huh. People are willing to protect them. Uh-huh. I mean, just look at this place. It's a sanctuary for them. The flowers here are quite pretty, are they not? But that's why they are protected here, because they are pretty. Oh. Joel. Nobody is going to protect me because I'm cute. So in that way, I'm jealous of them. I'm pretty sure there will be someone. Are you talking about Lord Jesus? Come on, dude. <laughs> of course I am. Ah, okay. Ah. Every day. Every day. Every day. More paperwork piles up. There's just too much. An insurmountable, insurmountable amount. <laughs> oh no, and if it's not finished in time... <laughs> oh no. Joel. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's a look of concern. That's new. I can take it. I have lost count of how many times he's taken me to do his little experiments on. Little experiments? 
It's always freaking me, nobody else. I never freaking see him take anyone else. <laughs> he's just doing it to freak with me, I know he is. Oh no. Dude, someone is gonna hear and come over. Uh huh, who cares? It doesn't freaking matter. It's not like they can do anything worse to me. Oh, I'm so free. I'm sorry, Joel. I wish I could do more for you. That's just it. No one can do anything for me. If I try to leave, he'll track me down. He's go. He's got freaking eyes everywhere, man. Oh no. Listen, hey. Uh huh. What is it, Ariel? Break? I don't know. <laughs> you gave up, eh? You're right. I I can do anything. Uh huh. But I'm I'm here for you, so I can escape him either, nor can anyone else. So if you ever need someone, then. Oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That was a good recover recovery. I'm sorry for flipping out like that. No, that that's kind of understandable. It's fine. Don't be. It's a stressful situation. I've seen more than you just freak out. <laughs> than just you freak out. I guess that's true. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, but never mind that. Why don't you tell me about the flowers you planted? You seemed very happy when you were watering them, so I'm curious. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> First, Joel began anxiously spitting about the different flowers he had planted. Here and there, he would give info about each plant's different needs and different ways to take care of them. Truth be told, Sarin wasn't that interested in gardening, he just wanted Joel to have something like he liked he could talk about for a while to forget his troubles. And it seemed for a while that worked. Joel M. Joel. Is it Joel or Joel? How do you say Joel? Joel. Alright, so as I said before, next is the dining hall. Good food, good food. Indeed. Woo, what should I eat today? Huh? What is it? Ha ha ha. Someone you know? Hey, Silas, how it's going? Oh, Silas. Oh. Silas have a very different vibe than the other people we have met. Other we have met is kinda... Soft. Have a soft vibe. Uh, Silas have a very strict vibe. It's you, huh? What do you want, Ariel? Cold, cold, cold. You look so happy, Ariel. I'm just saying hi to one of my bestest buddies in the whole world. Ah, that's why. Ha. Huh. I don't recall ever making friend. Just me babysitting an um, <laughs> an obnoxious brat. Uh huh. But I'm taller than you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Instantly got defeated. Besides, didn't I save your bum that one time? I have no recollection of such an event. Really? I remember a couple light spears had penetrated completely through your chest, and that pastel looking angel was about to. What happens there, actually? Spears? Pastel looking angel? Shut up! Quiet! Oh. <laughs> Silas breaking the... Breaking the character here. Kind of. The vibe. Uh, I don't know what to say in English. So you do remember. Ah, oh, Silasy. Why do you gotta be such a tease? Silasy. <laughs> what do you even want from me, you absolute... You absolute G? Nothing in particular. Uh-huh. 
I just figure I say hi, or encounter was completely decided by fate. So you claim. Ah, hey, it's true. I mean, I just wanted to go to all. Never mind that, though. Watch a haven. None of your business. Uh huh. Hey, don't hide it. Show me, show me. Come on. Hey, get your hands off me. Come on. I kinda like how Silas have different expression for each character they met. Let go, freaker. <laughs> ah. Oh, -ho. what is it then? So the rumors are true. Mr. Gloomy over here loves these cute, freely looking sweets. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> Shut up, I'll kill Can I say that on YouTube? I'll kill you. Yeah, I've gotta check whether I can say that on YouTube. Huh? Why? I'll share one with you. It will be a date. That's even worse. <laughs> you don't wanna go on a date with me? Even though I'm so hot and sexy. <laughs> You're not, shut up. I got rejected. Uh huh. Gotta say, though, you liking those sweets sure does match your cute pink eyes. Oh my. <laughs> Just shut up already, god dang it. <laughs> You're breaking Silas' pipe here real hard. Sorry, sorry. You're just so fun to tease. Like that makes it any better. <laughs> if anything, it makes it worse. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean it like that. You're just so cute. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you are just so... Uh-huh, what's up? Nothing. Whatever. <laughs> so let's just give up. What? I'm gonna finish eating this. Stay. Go. I don't give a dang. What do you like? Hey hey. Then I'll say. <laughs> and so Soryo sat down next to Silas, continuing to tease him, though in a gentler way. Silas became a bit more bashful, continuing to retort here and there, but his face stayed noticeably bright. As our bike couldn't help but playfully sneered at the two, noting their obvious chemistry. Indeed it is. Will these two get together down the line? Only time will tell. Silas and all. Ah, that's a cute, that's a cute food, Silas. <laughs> okay, now so for the last place we need to go is the library. Let's go there then. Wow. The scent of book is immaculate. Indeed. Could you keep it down, Sariel? Ah, oh, who is it? What's hanging, Selene? Wait, I cannot read the name. Selene? Selene? I read it as Selene, though. How do you read that? Selene, I guess. Selene? Uh, no, I'm just gonna go with Selene. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Ha! Huh? Ah. What is hanging is me trying to read, but a rowdy man is causing a racket for no reason at all. Huh? Yep, can argue with that. I ain't got a reason to be here. I'm just bored. What you reading? Uh-huh. As always, you don't care about the effects you have on others. Effects? No matter. I'm reading a book on influential, influential blasts throughout different ages in various surface worlds. Blast? Oh, the blasts. I never think about them too much. What even goes on with that Garbo anyway? Garbo? It is not Garbo as your, as your crude brain chooses to call it. Uh-huh, then what is it? If a god chooses to grind a soul on a surface world a portion of their power, it truly is a blessing. Yeah, but they get freaked up, right? Get freaked up? 
What do you mean? I wouldn't want that shred in my body. Huh, perhaps. I suppose that's not an incorrect way of looking at it. Indeed. Get freak up like what? Blessings, more often than not, change one's physical appearance based on the power granted to them. Even if their outward appearance is left unchanged, the abilities granted to them are often too great to hold within, and it will become obvious what has happened to them before long. Oh, yeah, I remember in Hanging with Stikes, Stike was called to be blessed, something like that. Perhaps it's related to this. I don't really know, but I could be wrong. I mean, I've played it for a few weeks or months. I don't remember. And thus, thus, ha ha ha, uh huh, burn at the stake, salt the slavery groom into becoming cult figures. Oh, that's bad. Those are but a few of the fates of unfortunate blast covered in this book. Messed up, haha. <laughs> so if that's the kind of shred that goes on, why do the god continue to blast? It's fun to watch. I am not in a position to judge the action of the gods. However, it seems some of them give blessing just to watch events unfold simply for their own merriment. I know some only bless if it's safe to do so, but others do the exact opposite. You don't gotta say it, that's pretty freak. <laughs> Indeed. Hush! It's cool, it's cool. So like... Uh-huh. Blessing are based on the power of the god who granted it to you, right? Right? So then, what would happen if Lord Jesus were to bless someone? Me lord? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he created every god currently living in Celestia, right? Ah, I'm sure his power is unmatched. I wonder what would happen. But Atlas also create, But Atlas also a lone god that doesn't get created by Jesus. Kinda wonder what the blessing of the void would do too. Ah. Well, I did try to ask him once, but... But what? Hello. Oh, so that's Jesus. Oh, kinda looks like Atlas. Excuse me, be lord. Yes. Speak up, child. If this is out of the line to ask, then I beg you to pardon me, but... Have you ever placed a surface dweller? Uh-huh. Loving? Of course not. You think I have an ounce of power to spare for the likes of them? Alright. What a filthy thug. Return to your work, Selene. Okay. So, no blessing? Or you're hiding something? I really didn't want to press it further. He seemed very upset by the suggestion. I don't blame you. The Lord is a terrifying man. Yes. Well, never mind that. Uh-huh. Tell me more about these unfortunate dudes. I barely know a dang thing about what goes on outside Celestia. Huh. Well, if you're truly interested. Oh. Sariel and Celine continue to have a lively conversation about the life and death of several blasts. It was a fun time. Celine's more like side come out quite a bit. Sariel is glad to have come to the library. Celine and. So, I guess that's all for Sariel Goes in the Mall. Honestly, it was fun, you know, like, interacting with all this character kinda feels like a friend sim, you know, those kind of interacting with each character introduction stuff. What do you call it? I'm not really good at describing stuff to you. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all for Sorry Alagos and Walk. See you later then on my next video. Bye bye.